Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Liquidators. So this, I was just sort of perusing through and this popped up on my radar. It's free. Uh, so if you want to play it on Steam, you can do so. And this is actually based uh, loosely, tightly, I don't know, but it seems to be based around the Chernobyl incident. There was a part in it where three uh, volunteers had to go in after everything had gone to shit and turn on um, some sort of water cooling mains or whatever. I'm not, I'm no historian on it. I watched the HBO Chernobyl series when it came out, and that's phenomenal, by the way. At the very least, if you take nothing else away, go and check that out. It's very interesting. Um, and they and they had this in there as well. So this is based on a real event where, where three fucking giga chads had to go into a very real, very one-way ticket sort of situation. And if they didn't complete their mission, the whole idea is that you would have this nuclear bloody steam overload that would blast all this shit into the atmosphere and it would just it would basically fuck all of Europe forever basically as far as humankind's concerned so like no pressure so in this you sort of uh, I think it's a short little slice of a game where you go in and you, you bloody reenact that so I'm really interested because I find the topic interesting I love historical examples of true human bravery that always fascinates me um, and I'm, I'm always open to a game dealing with something that's kind of heady, you know, like a, a, a heavy duty topic and seeing if it can pull it off, you know, and, and treat it with the, the right respect sort of thing. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. So I, I clicked on here, I've got instructions, walk, run, flashlight, Valeri, crouch, crawl, drop and carry. Uh, I'm sure that'll come up when it needs to. We've got a Geiger counter, right? Proximity. Oh, okay, maybe there'll be a directional thing. Okay, see. Direct aim detection. Where's two? I don't see a two. Oh, here. Oh, okay, so it's at the direct point that you're pointing it at. Atmosphere radiation. Maximum health. Radiation damage down here. Oh, okay, okay. Maximum health, a reduced number and dark red coloring of tube underneath indicates permanent damage to health. Oh, that's not good. Radiation damage, an increased number and bright red color of tube above indicates radiation intake that can cause unconsciousness if surpassed. Maximum health slash tolerance and permanent health damage over time. Okay, okay, all right. Mission info, here we go. Find the correct valves to drain the water tanks. There should be a total of six valves, four in the main floor and two in the bottom floor within the water tank room. Okay. The bottom floor is sealed from heavy pressure until the four valves in the main floor are turned off. All right, so we're gonna turn off the main floor valves, release the pressure, get into the bottom floor with the two valves. Now what's this, general, room one. In Area 1, our scouts found that Corium Lava has breached the perimeter, but they have passed through multiple levels of water pipes and are covered and cooled off because of it. Right. The water covering them doesn't let the hazards to emit distance radiation, but they are still extremely deadly on contact. The atmosphere radiation is also immensely is immense because of smoke particles, so your equipment might falter. Okay. Room two, our scouts found the water and waste disposal unit of area two broken. We've got some pictures and have set up a generator to open the faulty ceiling doors. However, they did not have time to power it up. So it's up to you to guard, to keep your guard up. The damage systems might activate the circulation when powered on, okay? The most lethal area was without doubt area three. Our scouts couldn't even look at that monstrosity for more than a few seconds before collapsing. The oh, look at this. It's like a melt thing. The camera melted after this picture and the ones exposed are in grave condition. Stay out of its sight and find your way around it. Oh, fuck me. After you've activated all the drainage valves of area one, two, and three, you can now access the final water cooling reservoir of the reactor. The area will be flooded, so find your way and be careful where you step. This will be the final challenge. I guess so. Room 4 must be the, the bottom floor. 
Four in the main floor. Okay. Jeez, it's pretty heavy duty stuff. They've set it up all right. Okay, let's go. There has been a nuclear accident in the Soviet Union and the Soviets have admitted that it happened. The Soviet version right. is this. One of the atomic reactors at the Chernobyl atomic power plant near the city of Kiev was damaged. And there is speculation in Moscow that people were injured and may have died. The Soviets may have been fairly quick to acknowledge the accident because evidence in the form of mild nuclear radiation had already reached beyond the Soviet borders yeah, to right. Scandinavia. They were picking it up in other countries. Radio transmission connected and working. Okay. To summarize, you've been chosen because of your expertise in locating valve systems and reaching those water tanks are our last hope in containing... Are these the valves? If you don't drain those water tanks, a steam explosion will create a radioactive fallout that will render Europe uninhabitable. It is a perilous journey to those valves, and if anything happens to you, we will guarantee your families are taken care of in your stead. Oh, brutal. Your country and I thank you for your selfless service. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's up to you three now. Oh, gearing up. Holy heck. All right, yeah. Do I press, do I press skip? Maybe I'll press skip. Main objective, acknowledge. Yeah, no, 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 we, we covered the main objective. I have to pick one of the blokes and we've got a radiation tolerance. Look at big Boris. Oh, okay, Valeri can crawl and he's an electrician. Well, Boris seems to be the scout. He's the one, he's got the bigger tolerance. We're gonna go in as Boris. Having been a military veteran, he has more endurance and vitality than the average person. Attempt, uh, attention, once committed, liquidator one committed liquidator at a time to lower risk and maximize efficiency yes yes oh wow how cool are these graphics i rate it oh this is cool all right flashlight was f yeah 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 i love this i love this sort of throwback okay 120 low 120 is my health okay what's this can i do anything with that I don't think so. Maybe not. More games should have graphics like this. Okay. Okay. Can I crouch? I can crouch. So I could go in those vents. Alright, hang on. Let's scout this door. Alright, I can just click on that. Oh, this is intense. Hang on, what's going on here? Mission info. Okay. Settings. Cool. Continue. I'll just go leave. Leave. This is, this is intense. Oh, is that one of the valves? Oh, that's good news. We got some green. Oh, there we go. We got some Russian propaganda on the roof. This is good. Got a room there. It looks like we've got health kits or something. Okay. What is that? Don't know. All right. Oh. All right. Let's go in here. Oh shit. Medium. Medium. Oh, you can't jump? Okay, that's fine. High. Alright, so we're starting to we're starting to cop some radiation in there. That's not good. Let's get out of there. I've got two radiation. Okay. 
Right, I think we've got to flick all the valves to get through that door. Okay, I get this. I get this so far. Well, okay. Very good. I've lost my family. No good. So, if I recall, we can't do that yet. <gasps> Hang on. Oh, shit. Did I lock myself in somehow? Oh, no, Boris. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is bad. Turn it off. Oh, no. Is it going to stop? going back down. Okay. I think it's going back down. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Oh, no! I've killed Boris. Oh, no. Deploying next volunteer. No! Fuck. Okay. Continue. Electrician. Maybe we send Valeri, the crawler. Years of experience maintaining the vents and ducts, he can comfortably squeeze and use some of the safer routes. Okay. Wait, can I save Boris? Is that possible? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Right, so it must have been he got electrocuted. How do I pick him up? Alright, alright. It's okay, Boris, we're gone. I've got you, buddy. This is intense. Can I go like, I'll revive? Oi, Boris is back in the game. Revive, maybe. Reviving. All right, maybe it takes some time. Oh, I put him in the machine, okay. Okay, that's fine. Alright, maybe he'll be alright. I'm gonna check out these air vents. Can I... Wait, what was it? Crawl? Yeah, here we go. Oh. Hang on. I've been baited. Okay. Man, this is good horror! Alright, I think we have to attempt this room over here on the side. We have to do it. It's water spraying. What is this? What is this machine? 
Oh, hang on, I'm through. I'm through. Oh, shit. It's like a mist. I don't really want to walk through that, but... Ah. Oh, fuck, that hurt. Blot me torch. I see water spraying. Squeezies. Yeah, I don't want to touch that pillar. Come on, we can do it, we can do it, get through. Holy shit. I did it! Okay, combat. The pressure readings are leveling out. You put us some time from another meltdown. Find the way to the next drainage route. What's up here? God, they upset me. I, I mean, there's no reason to think that shit's gonna close in on me and crush me or anything, right? Is there something there? I can't tell. I need a torch. Oh, is this a torch? This is intense! I don't necessarily want to go down there just yet. I've become discombobulated. There's no map or anything, uh, which I think is probably the beauty of this game. Set a fire hose or something. One point six. I don't know if that's a that's like a that's a chemical hazard thing, not a directional. Oh shit! A slag there. Oh fuck, look at that. God, this game's really getting me to go deeper, isn't it? Oh, what is that? That's a that's a bit of a Russian symbol. That's good, isn't it? Get 
getting some strange sounds down here. <laughs> oh! Was that like... Like, you just cannot make... You just can't make contact with that... Whatever it is. It's so powerful. Oh, med kits. Okay. Shit, I'll take a med kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Do I make a run for it? Maybe. Okay, okay. What's down there, you reckon? Oh, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna go for it. Oh no, I've killed myself. Wait. Wait, where am I? Oh, it was a turn. It was a turn. I understand. I'm in a different room now. God, I can't see anything. Come on. Oh, I've looped around, I think. I go up ladders. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. Unless I drop down or something. I don't think I can't jump. Let's go. Was that just de-rendering? Oh, it was. Bugger. So this thing just seems to spark infinitely. We've already been electrocuted once, I don't know how I feel about that. Let's...
Christ. Oh man. All right. Oh, I just walked down. Okay. Fuck. Oh no. Oh, I think he's dead. <laughs> I think that man is done. Lost contact with Valeri. Deploying next subject. Oh man, this is intense. This is so good. Um, I'm not actually going to deploy in because that's kind of worked out well for a first sort of episode. Um, let me know if you want to see more of this team. This is a great way to do horror without bloody jump scares. And they've they've set it up. It's it's handling the subject matter, I think, very tastefully. To be perfectly honest. And like I said, at the very least, it's free on Steam, so you can go and check this out yourself. And if if you if you can go and check out the actual HBO documentary, this makes me want to go back to it. Like it, it's obviously a pretty miserable and sad part of of uh, human history, but it does really. Well, it it also highlights you know the incompetence of uh, of the system at the time. And I'm not necessarily commenting on it anyway, but it's just it is very interesting. It's commentary on how the system kind of contributes a lot to how it fails there, there's a definitely a good showing of like human spirit you know and heroism in many forms and i really really enjoyed it um oh man this is really cool all right team thanks again for joining me we might just leave it there for the time being and i'll catch you guys on the next one